Syria's white helmets get support from Qatar, whilst the United Nations admits to failure in supporting Syria's earthquake victims. Meanwhile, UEFA gives Qatar the green light to bid for Manchester United. And finally, here's the list of things to do on Qatar National Sports Day. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar Fund for Development has stepped in to support Syria's white helmets in their crucial search and rescue operations. The devastating humanitarian situation caused by the earthquake last week has people still trapped under the rubble. UFFD's support will repair ambulances that have been working around the clock, as well as assist in supplying the fuel for heavy vehicles. Meanwhile, the United Nations has admitted to international failure in helping Syrian earthquake victims. Supplies have been slow to arrive in northwestern Syria, primarily due to the Assad regime denying aid to pass through to the affected areas. Three days after the earthquake, a UN convoy eventually entered and delivered supplies to northwest Syria via Turkey. But the agency's relief chief believes much more was needed for the millions whose homes were destroyed. UEFA appears to be ready to approve Qatar's bid to acquire English Premier League giants Manchester United. Despite Qatar's investment authority owning PSG, which could create a conflict of interest in the Champions League, UEFA's rules state that no club taking part in the UEFA club competitions may hold shares in any other club participating. However, the European football's governing body may allow dual ownership similar to the one Red Bull Leipzig and Red Bull Salzburg currently have. And finally, we're just hours away from Qatar's most active day, Qatar National Sports Day, and here are some of the things you can take part in. Paris Saint-Germain are coordinating sporting events in different locations, from the University of Doha for Science and Technology to the Pearl, Mesherib, and more. Oxygen Park will be taken over by more than 20 activities from Qatar's Olympic Committee, and even shopping malls such as Tawar Mall and Mall of Qatar have activities planned. Join in on the fun. Head over to our website for the entire breakdown. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.